Hi everyone, so it's another day, I believe it's day 10. So you're gonna start with sitting up, just have your hands on your thighs, you're going to inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna curl forward, essentially putting your stomach on your thighs and then you can't really breathe here, so I want you to breathe out and back. Three breaths, trying to keep your shoulders down, just be aware of the back breath. One more breath here. Inhale, come and sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, let's come and roll down and roll back. All right, so somewhat endurance. You're gonna come lift the hips up. You're just gonna hold it up here and you're gonna breathe. You're trying to push up from your glutes. You can have your hands come on the side ribs here and just do three breaths. Keep those knees in towards each other. Good, and then come and put your hips back down. So let's bring one leg up to tabletop and your hands behind your head. So just inhale, exhale and curl up and inhale and come back down. And then exhale. Good, do one more time in the middle. Then reach the leg out as you curl up, bend the leg as you inhale, come down, and exhale, inhale. And then two more. Good, let's switch legs. So just the leg tabletop, exhale, curl up, inhale down. If you want it harder, you can reach your leg out, but your abdominals should be holding your leg up, not your hip flexor. And then two more. And then add the leg reaching out as you curl up. And then one more time. Good, so let's come down, switch to the right leg again. So you're gonna inhale and then exhale, you're gonna curl and cross the elbow over. So it's right leg up, left elbow crosses over but it's more you want the left rib to meet the right lower rib. And then reach the leg out as you diagonal cross over, inhale down and exhale. And then one more time. All right, switch legs, so left leg tabletop. Come up and cross with no leg movement. Okay, one more, and now add the leg reaching out. Come up, cross over where that imaginary knee kind of is. And then one more time, good. All right, so your hands will be down, your legs will come up tabletop. You're gonna come lift the hips up and then come put them back down. And exhale, inhale. Helps to really get the lower abs, it seems. And then two more in the center. Do one, and now you're gonna lift your hips up and twist to one side, put it down. Lift up, twist, and then put it down. Exhale, inhale. And one more each side. Good, and then one more time here, good. So let's turn out, do some bridges, lift the hips up, heels are together, big toes are down. Exhale. If you want it harder, bring one leg up and just do one leg bridges. And then we'll do two more. And then come do one more time here. Good, all right, so we're gonna come up. You're gonna come flip over. So I'm gonna cue on your elbows because I know a couple of you have uh, wrist stuff. If you wanna be up on the wrist, you certainly can. It's just a little bit harder, a little different. So I'm gonna scoot forward so you see my feet. So my toes are forward. So I'm gonna come forward, but then I'm gonna point one foot and shift one back. Come forward and then switch. Inhale, so if you're doing this on the floor with socks, you get bonus points. You might wanna take your socks off. 
This is when a yoga mat's probably better than a Pilates mat. And then two more. And then do one more. Good. Let's come down onto the knees. Come and stretch back. Then you can be on your elbow again. Or I'm going to be on my hand. And then you're going to come up into the side bends here. And then twist under. And then come back up. Exhale. Inhale. And we're doing six of these. So then if you were on your elbow, it would just look like this. And then one more time here. And then bring your hips down, lift it up for six. Shoulder down, work the armpit and side abs. Three, two, and then one. Good. Come down, just come twist back. Hold it there for a breath. Inhale, and then exhale, come and twist back forward. Flip over, and then do the other side. So I'm just gonna show the elbow on this side, otherwise you're up on your hand. Exhale, twist under, inhale. And again, bonus points if you're on the floor with socks. It gets a lot harder. You wanna keep your shoulder over your um, elbow. Good, then lower the hips down, lift them up for six. And then two, and then one. Good, come lie down, bend the bottom arm, and then come and twist back. Inhale, and then exhale, and come back forward. All right, so your feet are gonna be forward reaching away. Your hands are gonna be pretty wide. You wanna find this sweet spot where you can roll down to the elbows, and then you can come back up onto the hands. So the wider the better. So you wanna to try to roll down through your spine and come down, inhale, and then exhale, you're gonna come and sit back up. And then two more. If you want a harder, you could always try without the arms. Let's do a couple more, actually. So you're going to come and roll down and then come back up. If you need to use the back of your thighs, you can. I like using my arms, so then I use my arms a little bit, but I actually feel it deeper in my abs. But that's up to you, your choice, too. Good. All right, so then let's come and do some push-ups, actually. Flip over onto your knees, your hands. Have your hands wide, so when you bend and come down, your forearms are parallel. You don't want to be in too close and see how my forearms are not parallel. Kind of looks cool, the stripes, right? All right, so you want to be wide. Option one, just stick your butt out and do push-ups here. If your wrists bother you, just fold up the mat a little bit. A little harder, straight line from knees to shoulders, and then do some push-ups here. And of course, the hardest, up on your toes. But you want to try to keep the shoulders stable and really work the armpits as you're doing this. I'm just going over all the variations again. You can kind of choose which one feels good for you. And then two more. And then one more time wherever you are. Good. And let's come sit back and do a shell stretch, just holding it here. Good. And then let's come and sit up. So the spine stretch, sitting up. Round forward using your abdominals, exhale. Inhale, come and sit back up. So this is when if you had your back to the wall or you had your back to a partner, you'd keep your lower backs again to so try to use your abdominals and flex the ankles and stretch forward and come back up. And then let's change into saw. So twist, inhale, opposite hand to other pinky toe, inhale up, exhale, center, inhale. And then one more each side. And one more time here. <clears throat> All right, so to finish, we're gonna do can-can. So you can either be on your hands or you can be down on your elbows. Um, actually, I don't know which one would be harder. So what you're gonna do is reach your legs up. 
Sorry, you keep your toes down. You're gonna do three, two, one, reach it out, come back in. Then switch to three, two, one, out in. So you're trying to keep your upper body as a stable part, and then it's more like the waist moves. Yeah, so I can't really sit up with my arms straight. I don't know if I'd get my abdominals as much. I do have a little bend. And then we'll do three, two, one. And then last one, three, two, and one. All right, good job, everyone. Thanks for watching.